Hey, 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 what's up, my fellow clashers? Toddzilla here from Joe's Out of War Clan, going over three Govaho attacks in the latest war that we won here. I did scope out a video on my attack on number seven. Uh, very interesting design. It's actually the Southern Teaser. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, go scope it out. But this video, we're going to highlight Bone Crusher on one and Bone Crusher on two, and then Jesse's attack on number four. All Govaho attacks. And uh, I have a feeling a lot of people are going to go back towards us Govaho. Uh, we did kind of get away from it for a little while in favor of the Queen Walk strategies and such. And those are still viable, but with the, the healer nerf, I know a lot of people are looking for, you know, something to go to. And um, I just want to say, do not put the Govaho out of your attack re arsenal because it is still very strong. Uh, as we're going to see here, 2 minutes, 18 seconds um, for Bone to get rid of this particular base. Certainly an interesting design here. So let's see how he gets it done. Uh, he's not going to bother pulling the clan castle. He's just going to start a really wide funnel with those two archers. And then uh, one wizard there drops down his queen. And then he gets his golems in to kind of tank up the middle there with the royals. So there they go. He knows they're going to path right in there. And then he can throw his Valks down, knowing he kind of set up a funnel already. And then uh, knowing those royals were going to attack it. He's like, okay, no problem. Exactly where I would have attacked and exactly where I would have put my jump, knowing that my Valkyries were going to path in there. So very smart strategy there. Uh, his Barb King does end up going back over here and a few wizards from him to help kind of take out everything on that end. And you can see his Valkyries making their way over there. And uh, Govaho here just with his hogs coming in from the side uh, to kind of help out on all these uh, damage dealing defensive buildings. That heal that he put down there probably would have been better used up here where they were taking a little bit more damage than they were down uh, where that is. But obviously we saw this very quick attack under two minutes and 20 seconds. So it's a very nice attack on his part. And uh, you'll end up seeing his hogs die out here, which is fine. He didn't bring like a ton to the party here. It was more of a Velk party, but uh, yeah, I got the job done. It's very quick, and you can see the last heal there burned up on the hogs. They're going to go over and try to take out a few of these, but they got a lot of damage being done to them, especially with those cannons now doing a lot more damage, and then the final one getting flung off here. But I was very glad to see how this was shaking out, just because I saw this golem in range, almost of these Teslas that were over here. And I knew once these two things got uh, taken out by the Archer Queen, that these guys would path right down there, and then they wouldn't take out the rest of this kill squad that was moving in. So there they take out that mortar, and there we go. Golem's doing exactly what they should, tanking up stuff. Archer Queen doing what she should do, which is beating on walls. And then we got one lone Valkyrie down here tanking uh, that Tesla that was down there, and Wizard's helping out on the back end. There's the Queen ability and the final Tesla for three stars on that particular base. Uh, very nice attack there with the eight hogs and 12 Valkyries and uh, 11, 11 uh, wizards actually. It's pretty heavy on the wizards as well. Uh, typically, Govaho running the one, one jump and three heals is exactly what he's doing here. 13 Valkyries, 10 hogs, so a little bit more hogs, a little less wizards on this particular one. Again, does not decide to pull a clan castle, decides, you know what, I'm just going to poison them down once they do come out. Puts down a few golems, really wide funnel there with his wizards, and he lets his golems kind of tank up stuff while his wizards blast down some of these outer uh, point defenses. And I think he wanted to get into this section really bad, so he sit, put down his wall breakers uh, in a fashion to try and get him to do that, but then once he saw his Valkyries trying to go over there, um, he let them all loose, and uh, they're going to do a lot of damage there. Puts down the one jump to get into all of these different sections and get out of the uh, one that he entered in on. One heal and a couple poisons, going to keep those bad boys going. Uh, second heal there to help within that core because there's a lot of damage being pointed in there. And then he's going to come in at that 90 degree angle with those hogs just like you always do on the uh, Govaho attacks. Very strong and very smart use of his heals here. He knows full well 
Uh, plenty of hogs going in here and nothing really that's going to do any sort of AOE damage. No sort of giant bomb threat. So no need to heal them. Uh, this is the only thing that's got any sort of AOE potential to it. Does start attacking them. So he says, hey, I'm going to drop that heal. Very nice. Uh, other potential is that there's double giant bomb sitting between these two guys. Unlikely, though, considering where... Uh, it is on the base, easily tripped, but uh, it does actually trigger one bomb there. And guess what? Skeletons take that out. Still a lot of stuff left up here. Does release that wizard smartly as soon as these skeletons get within range of the Archer Queen down there. Archer Queen took out the last defensive building down there, which was an Archer Tower. And then from there is just a cleanup. Uh, one Valkyrie remaining and Archer Queen doing what she does best yet again, plowing through these walls. Absolutely great at eating through those things, just like any proud Archer Queen would be. And then we got the final two buildings here with the cleanup and Archer Queen still enjoying her wall beating just enough not to get to that last building. So there you have it, another go of a hoe. 10 hogs, 13 Valks, got those three heals with the one jump. And we're going to take a look at number four, Jesse, getting that done. A little bit longer of attack here and a little bit different strategy. So you're going to see here he's got two jumps, two heals, and a rage. He is now a Town Hall 10, so he's got the extra spell space. And uh, didn't need the two jumps at all. Definitely could have used some extra heals. But as it is, he got the job done. And let's see how he does it. Um, I just want to highlight this attack too because here's the clan castle it is pullable he's going to use one hog out of his eight and uh to pull them actually it looks like it's not too bad of an attack two minutes 30 seconds throws down that uh guy to pull his cc and then he's going to come over here and i'm going to pause it actually because he throws down his queen and he knows what's coming over here drops that poison we got two valkyries a baby dragon and a wizard uh, absolute AOE monsters with that uh, wizard kind of sitting back and letting these two high HP AOE guys in the Valkyries deal out damage. And this guy, Enraged, doing tons of damage. Probably 200 uh, points a second, roughly. So I saw this mistake earlier that Ron Wiz made. Uh, these Valkyries come out. He waited for it for them to hit his archer queen before using the ability i understand the thought process you want to you get that heal uh you know rather than healing when you're full or using the queen ability when you're full to you know g gain some hp you want to wait until the the health is down before you use that to gain the hp but unfortunately with this attack composition if you have valkyries already on top of your archer queen guess what's going to happen you're going to use your ability they've already swung you got you know archers already right around you they're not going to move at all and they're just going to swing because those uh archers are there they don't lose focus of you because well, they do lose focus of you, but because of your archers that you release when you use the ability, they're going to come over there, not move, and they're going to swing again, and they're going to blast you down, and you're not going to have an archer queen for the rest of your attack. So pay close attention to what he does here. If you see Valkyries coming, especially two of them, that is number one signal to you. If they're coming onto your archer, you need to use that archer queen ability well before they get in range of attacking you. Um, and let's just see, he uses that poison. They take care of that archer, and then guess what? He uses that ability just before they get to him so he can take him out, takes out the barb, or little baby dragon. And here's a bunch of minions kind of getting everything over there because no air buildings within range over there, which is very smart to do. Only eight eight troops taken over there, and he's going to take out quite a bit of uh, the base on that end. So does the same thing over here, just kind of getting everything trash out of the way on the one edge. And then here come a bunch of Valkyries, and he's going to release them up the gut. Decides that he's going to use heals instead of his jump. So a heal down there and then a heal somewhere over here eventually. 
And what that does is just keeps your Valkyries alive, does throw that Rage down to get them through these walls a little bit faster, but uh, putting that heal down actually just keeps the Valkyries alive while they beat on that wall, so you don't necessarily need uh, to use a jump spell to get over that wall and get these items or get these buildings down and uh, decides to use those heals instead. But I think, obviously, he used two jumps, or he built two jumps. He could have easily uh, used those jumps for that and then saved the heals, you know, over here. Probably would have been a better use of his spells, but it uh, didn't really matter. Uh, obviously, we saw he got the three-star. And then he came in with those hogs, kind of in a surgical fashion. Had a few come in over here to take out those buildings, ran back up there and back down, uh, which is absolutely fine. But uh, these jump spells did end up helping this kill squad that kind of went up and around over there to get down and get in range with uh, some of those cannons over there. So this one lone hog actually finished off the last cannon over there and the last cannon over here, which will be the last uh, major damage dealing unit since these mortars are absolutely useless past about Tone Hall 7 or if anybody is using a barch uh, raid against your particular base. That's about all they're good for. Probably be nice. Um, I did see Power Bang put out a video. Maybe to have like a half second stun if a mortar hits, you know, anybody that gets stunned for half a second, that wouldn't be as useless, but uh, as it is right now, they're pretty bad. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Three Govaho attacks post update. Um, with the healer nerf going around, people looking for somewhat of a different strategy of what they can do, maybe at Town Hall 9 and above. Govaho, absolutely strong, never died down. It just got uh, kind of replaced in favor of Queen Mox, especially within our clan for a while. Those were pretty easy, especially uh, with the healers being able to do what they do. Um, now that they're being targeted, though, people looking for new ones, certainly use these Govaho attacks, guys. Uh, very powerful, very strong. So just want to highlight those three. Uh, certainly use them post-update. Super strong. Thanks for watching, guys. That's going to be it for this video. Please subscribe. Bottom right there. Look, click, click the little barbarian if you're on your computer. Uh, if you don't see it, back out. Search Joe's Auto War Clan. Give us a subscribe. Learn how average folks like us, just casual players, get it done. Went from a 55% win rate clan to over a 90% win rate in our last 80 to 90 wars. If that's something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button, watch our videos. If you're struggling as a clan, tell your clan mates to come over here, subscribe, and check out all of our videos. A lot of Town Hall 9, majority Town Hall 9, but we got a lot of Town Hall 8, some Town Hall 7 in there, and uh, a few Town Hall 10s back in the day before this last update to try and nerf those bowlers and everything. But uh, certainly scope them out. If it's your first time watching, please subscribe. Tell your clan mates to subscribe, and I'll uh, stay tuned for some more videos in the future, possibly a, a few more three-star attacks from this particular war. There was a lot of them. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.